A close call on 275. Take a look. New at 11, Rumpke says scenes like this are playing out almost daily for their crews. Fire threatening workers, trucks, landfills, and you on the road. And the problem may be what you're throwing away. Evan Millward now with the calls for help and what Rumpke says can stop this from happening again. Bystanders watch in awe. A Rumpke truck in flames. Why are people still driving by? Off 275 at Hamilton in Houston. That noise you hear raging in the background, that's compressed natural gas the truck runs on being released. That was so freaking loud. Wow. Becoming a, almost a daily occurrence, not only for our recycling facility, but also for our landfill and our trucks and our drivers. This driver, the company says, did everything right. And the inside of the garbage truck still has flames in it. Our cameras caught what was left. That haul dumped onto the shoulder, still smoldering. He tried to spray it, but it, it's flaming really bad. The truck, mostly untouched, I'm told it just needs an inspection, the all clear, and a new paint job. People are putting things in the garbage and the recycling that aren't meant to be thrown away or aren't meant to go in the recycling, and they are causing fires not only at our facilities, but also on our in our trucks as they're traveling to the landfill or to the recycling. Just last week, we showed you this video from inside the St. Bernard facility, a battery burning on the line. And now this video, a problem Rumpke fears isn't going away and now threatening other drivers. And now there are flames really shooting high out of the back of it, like they're exploding out of the back of the garbage truck. That was our Evan Millward reporting. Rumpke is still looking into what sparked that fire. A spokesperson tells Evan that it could be anything from batteries to a pitched propane tank to even pool chemicals mixing together. None of these belong in your trash or recycling.